what's up welcome back to my channel today is officially day one of my job search process if you don't know anything about me i took an adult gap year to work on passion projects like content creation i built an app i did a lot of different things i traveled it was a great gap year but now the gap year is finally over and we're going to be doing the dreaded job search process this might literally be one of the worst times to get a job in the tech market you have layoffs that are happening people being afraid of ai there's just so much chaos happening in the tech industry it's not necessarily the best time to be job hunting i'm hoping it will take three to six months which is very wishful thinking just from hearing other people's perspective on the job market but i'm excited to bring you guys on this journey and just give tips and things i found especially if you've been impacted by like layoffs or if you're currently job hunting too you have someone else who's on this journey with you so even though like i knew that at the end of this battle i'd probably have to job hunt i can't help but low-key wish that maybe content creation could be my full-time gig i got a few questions of people asking me about this like oh you have 300,000 subscribers why don't you want to do content full-time doing full-time content it's definitely much harder than a lot of people think i realized it's not really something i want to do full-time at this time and also financially like i make more in the tech industry than i do as a content creator long story short i'd much rather just keep it as a side hustle at this time oh and i also wanted to mention because a lot of people were asking me oh how have you been financially supporting yourself during the sabbatical i had a lot of savings which i'm really grateful for because the sabbatical ended up being a little bit longer than i expected i thought it would be like six months to a year now we're at over a year and like i think two months so it was a lot longer than i thought it would be but i'm grateful i saved for it so long story short i have savings i also make money from content creation which i'm really really grateful for one of the things i've learned during my sabbatical is how to become a matcha expert look at the color difference anyways i'm going to be looking for software engineering jobs as well as developer advocate jobs so this is a plan for this week we got to get the resume together. We got to do a few cover letter drafts that we can just add to applications. We have to update our LinkedIn. And the final thing I'm trying to do this week is just create a rough study schedule. So I kind of know how I'm going to plan the next few weeks for because if you know anything about the software engineering or the tech job search process, it's very extensive. It takes so much longer than you think. And for me to even feel comfortable doing an interview, I have to give in at minimum one month of prep. That's why I'm going to build out a study schedule so I can make sure that I'm on track to be able to interview in about a month's time. And that's like me being very generous. It's probably going to take a little bit longer than that. Anyways, let's get to work. Okay, let's do our resume now. One of the most common questions I've gotten since taking this gap year a lot of people are saying like recruiters potential employers don't like to see candidates with huge gaps on their resume and to that i just say like are we never supposed to take a break from the time you graduate from college all the way until you retire if you even have the opportunity to retire so you're supposed to never take a break this entire time like let's be so for real life happens people make changes people make pivots it's insane to expect to never ever take a break in your entire career and i feel like in tech it's actually not that rare to take a sabbatical or to take an adult gap year there are two options i've seen to handle a whole gap year situation one option i've seen is that some people don't even acknowledge a gap year or they're just stop the resume at their previous position but they don't mention anything about a gap year some other people might put a little note saying like i took a career break or an adult gap year what i'm doing is i'm going to talk about the things i did during my gap year because i feel like it's actually relevant to some of the roles that i'm applying to and i feel like i did some cool stuff during my gap year of course i'm not going to talk about like traveling i'm not going to talk about getting my driver's license you know like those things on my resume what i will mention on my resume is building offline the screen time management app that i built for you guys that has now like over a thousand users which is really awesome and it is a huge privilege so i'm gonna basically represent that project which has users as a job and then i'm gonna just say that i was a software engineer of that product because i was and then i'm going to just list different things just underneath that this is a mini example of what i'm planning to put on my resume i still need to tweak it but i wanted to share it with you guys since i've already worked on it and thought about it for a while i also wanted to mention a few resume tips that are really really helpful for me i'm definitely going to be using google's xyz formula basically for every point in my resume i'm going to start with a verb for example accomplished x as measured by y by doing z 
that's what I'm gonna say for like almost every single thing on my resume that I can possibly say. And the benefits of this is it's gonna show like impact on my resume. I'm gonna show quantitative results, which is gonna be so helpful for improving my resume. I'm gonna leave the link below just so you guys can see the strategy for writing her resume. I found the article to be really helpful in the video to be really helpful and that's how I'm gonna write my resume. But I hope that answers the question of how am I going to talk about my gap year? Was I taking a gap year or was I building an app? Was I taking a gap year or was I creating content? Was I taking a gap year or was I, you know, a founder? You know what I mean? Like, that's basically what I'm going to do on my resume. I'm not lying because I'm talking about what I actually did. But I'm, of course, you know, making it cohesive. Was there a gap year or was I building an app and creating content the entire time? I do want to thank the sponsor of this video guide. Are you tired of having to repeat yourself over and over again to your teammates, to your friends? Well, you need to check out Guide. Guide is a free AI powered Chrome extension that allows you to create how-to videos and visual documentations in seconds for your employees and customers. For example, if I wanted to share how I made the job application tracker that I'm using for my job search, I'd simply download the free Guide Chrome extension, click capture in the browser extension, and record the audio and footage of me creating the job tracking spreadsheet. And the app will automatically generate step-by-step -step video guidelines complete with visuals, voiceover, and call to action. This allows you to save time by creating video documentation faster and you can share and embed your guide anywhere for anyone to see. And you can use this extension for free. The link is in the description box down below. working inside we gotta go outside we gotta enjoy this beautiful summer weather so we're gonna be going to this new cafe that i found online my whole goal for today is to finish my linkedin do some cover letters and yeah let's keep going goals during this study session is to update my LinkedIn. I'll be making changes like choosing a new profile picture as well as updating each job experience based on what I put on my resume. This actually is so simple to do. I'll be feeding each experience into ChatGPT and then telling ChatGPT to summarize it into three bullet points for LinkedIn. After doing this, I reviewed the bullet points and edited them to make them more human-like. And this is what my final LinkedIn profile looks like. doing the final two tasks to get myself ready to start job hunting, which are creating two cover letters for the two types of roles that I'll be applying to and also creating a study schedule. This is the prompt I use for creating a cover letter. And then just like I did with LinkedIn, I'm going through it one more time to make sure it sounds like I actually wrote it. Now with LinkedIn done, resume done, cover letter done, I will add them to my job tracker so it's easy to reference them if need be. The final task for today is creating a study schedule for myself. As you guys know, tech interviews are so extensive. For me to even feel comfortable I need to study for at least one month and I want to study as efficiently as possible. So I use this time to create a rough study schedule for myself. I'll be going through the data structures and algorithms that are commonly found in the interview process. There is still a lot to do but at this point we are ready to start applying for jobs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.